Well, if it is an in-person class, you're at the mercy of fucking the internet, Zoom, and my just sheer whether or not I fucking remember to do it, honestly. Uh, we're going to do the 3.5, which is on rational functions today. Oh, Josue's not here to fucking ask me what section it is. That just took all the fun out of it. So, Josue, we're doing 3.5 and we watch this video. If you fucking come in, no, oh, there he is. He's <laughs> I was just about to say, if you come in fucking two minutes late and ask me what the fucking section is, I was going to lower your grade on the midterm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, but I got, you got a, Aaron's sign. Yeah, and no, I got a good grade, so I don't want that. You did do it. You did get a good grade. Good job. Thank I you. have a question. Yeah. For this week, um, should we have everything on Wednesday like turned in until three point five? Uh, no. I gotta uh, do my. Uh, you should be working on like 3.3 and 3.4. Hopefully okay. we got 3.1 and 3.2 done already. Okay. But like we've got what five weeks left, four weeks left. We're running out of time. So push off doing what you need to do as long as you, whatever you're comfortable with. If it may mean you end up working over Thanksgiving break, if you want to maintain that good grade, or if you just get the grind out now. I know when I was a student, we would have to do like maybe I should pause it for this. There was like <laughs> there was like vodka parties for calculus. We'd get through about two thirds of the homework, then it was like maybe half, sometimes half it was a long assignment. And then just everyone would have a shot and then we'd work for like half hour. This was clearly not on school grounds. But we made we mingled pleasure with business. Uh, rational functions are fractions, and we're going to be grabbing them. So when f of x is a, you might have like a g of x over h over x. Uh, with h of x can't equal zero because it's in the denominator. That's a rational function. Basically, if the bottom has variables in it. Uh, the most basic one of these is the reciprocal function. One over x. As always, you can make an X and Y table. Put zero in the middle. I recommend doing the negative two, negative one, one and two. But I also recommend doing a fraction in here, like negative one half and positive one half. Because you need to see what kind of what happens here. If I put in negative two into this, what it equals one over negative two, which is negative one half. If I put in negative one, I get one over negative one, which is negative one. If I put in negative one half, one over negative one half is negative two. So it does what the name says. The y value is the reciprocal reciprocal of the x value. Zero 
One over zero is undefined. We don't have a value here, so there's not a at zero. Zero, x equals zero, is a, it's called an asymptote. A S Y M P T O T E. Asymptotes are lines that cannot be crossed. They are vertical. The horizontal and slant or oblique asymptotes have different properties. We'll do those in a second. In fact, you'll notice if we solve this for x, this becomes x equals 1 over y, which means the y-axis is an asymptote as well. y cannot equal 0. and neither can X. But, let me shut the door. It's too loud, uh, I can't even hear what you're saying now. Are you actually, can you, can you hear the words? Oh, you haven't gotten old enough where you've learned to tune out the the sound of a woman's voice. <laughs> well, that happens. In fact, they, the, if you get married, it happens even quicker. <laughs> And that right, Eric. Hey, there he is. What? Right there. He's on there. Yeah. <laughs> well, that and the sight. It both goes. And the sight? Yeah. Vision. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I've been wearing glasses since I was a teenager, so. Oh, They've sorry. always been going. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I, to be honest, I like my glasses. I don't think I look, I think I look fucking funny without my glasses on. That might be if for looking at my reflection for fucking 35 years with my glasses on. I don't know. But like with my glasses off, to me, I look fucking funny. With them on, I actually look like smart, where I don't look very smart fucking with them off. I kind of look like Luis. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just, eh. All right, let's stick the other ones in. If I do one, the same thing happens with the one over one half. This becomes a two. We've got a point at one half two. I didn't give myself a whole lot of room to write these. This reciprocal idea is kind of neat because if I stick in like a hundred, I get one over a hundred. So as X gets really large,
Y gets really small. Gets close to zero. And if I do like small numbers, if I plug in one over 100, I get 100. And if I stick in negative one over 100, I get negative 100. So as x gets close to zero, y heads towards positive or negative infinity, depending on which side we're coming in from. What are you looking at? Damn. Super aggressive, right? <laughs> Made me sound so tough. I'm so fierce. Everybody ready? Oh, looks like everybody is ready in here. And I can't see any of you all, so you're like, you're at my mercy. I'm sure Josue will tell me. So let's take a look at graphing this. Yeah. Oh, she took that down. She might be able to down that time. Hello, little Garzas. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's all right. I assume that was one of his daughters. If they're listening, I'll try to try to turn out the cussing. I can still be abusive without cussing, right? I know how to do that. All right, so when we have like X was like, I'm gonna do this as one and two. So like these are like, half, half marks here. So we had one, one, and negative one, negative one. When we had negative two, the reciprocal was negative one half. And when we had negative one half, the reciprocal was negative two. Same thing with the y thing going on here. We said x can never equal zero, and y can never, never equal zero. So we get some stuff like this going on. Some toes when we draw them tend to be dotted or dashed lines. So, like, it's a little hard to see this. This is a dashed line. The x, the y axis is an asymptote, and the x axis is an asymptote. In a second, these asymptotes will move a little bit, and then they're a little bit easier to see. But they're dashed lines.
we have x cannot equal zero, y cannot equal zero, which means both the domain and range are negative infinity to zero with parentheses in union with zero to infinity. This, this setup here on interval notation, this setup means everything but zero. I'm gonna say but the value. So if it's like one, it means everything but x equals one. Those Stop you laughing at him again. Did you just fucking say I inhale my food? <laughs> Call it Kirby. That's where I fucking heard. Yeah. Do I look like fucking Kirby to you? Kirby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, fuck you, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking do. We'll stop that video. I'll fucking. We'll enact the Chipotle protocol. <laughs> you fucking want to get fucking crazy, boy. I know how to fight fire. You fight fire by extinguishing the oxygen in the room. <laughs> when I start playing, I'll put it out. I'll spit water. What? So I'll spit water out. And it looks like f of x is decreasing on this side, and it's increasing over here. Uh, this function is what they say when x cannot equal 0. The words they like to use it for it in math, so get used to this if you want to be a math major, x is discontinuous at x equals zero, which means it does not make a continuous line. And finally, our reciprocal function, f of x equals one over x, is an odd function. which means it's symmetric with respect to the origin. Just a lot of them right here. There's been quite a few drugs, but a lot of them yeah. just aren't here or don't just didn't show up. You saw how many people were in here on test day. So the the class is still a lot of people. They just don't show up to class or Zoom. They're like Bucky. They're like Bucky. <laughs> Some of them do well. Some of them did well still. Uh, some of the students that I never seen in class did well. Some of them did not. So, like, if it's if you can do it, like, for some people, it's like, great. I, I, my, my work schedule changes or whatnot. I'll just fucking watch the videos later. Because you don't do class participation, right? No, I believe it's against the law at community college about holding higher. They we teachers get around it by calling it participation rather than attendance. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we can't use attendance or anything like that. I guess the way. Yeah. Those who participate in class, I 
when I'm looking at uh, end of the semester, that might affect whether or not I go, am I going to round up? Yeah. But it never it won't lower your grade if you not participate. Right. All right. So that was that. Uh, I like doing some shit. Like if we had four over X, which is really just four times our reciprocal function. How does that change? Well, if I stick in four, I just get one. And by sticking in one, I get four. So I don't start getting fractions until I get really high. Like if I stick in 16, I get four over 16, which is one fourth. <sighs> And if I stick in two, I get two. And the same thing is going to happen on the negative side. So that is y equals four over x, or four times one over x. And if we look at the graph of one over X real quick, let's just put Y equals one over X on the same, same picture. It kind of like moves it away from the origin. The blue line is the one with the four in front or on top. The red one is your basic one. It kind of like just takes it, pushes it further out. Diagonally, further diagonally, kind of. And if I do y equals negative 1 over x, this actually just flips it upside down. This is y equals negative 1 over x. So this also has the whole, we can do y equals a times one over x minus h plus k. And this shifts the asymptotes. Asymptotes go from x equals 0, y equals 0, to x equals h, y equals k.
in your domain will go from negative infinity to H in union with H to infinity, while your range will do negative infinity to K in union with K to infinity. And we saw above what A does. Is ready for an example with that? Actually, I can just squeeze that in right here. Let's do y equals uh, one over x minus two, and then a minus four. which means my asymptotes are x equals two and y equals four. Oh, x equals two, y equals negative four. Not bad. So I'll throw my asymptotes down in red. And we saw that that graph just does this. So now it's approaching those. You can actually cross the y and x axis, but it doesn't cross x equals two or y equals negative four. So do you um move in the uh, the lines? You just guess or you have to find them I I went out one and one from here and one one there to get that. Uh just like we had from here, negative one goes negative one and one goes one. And other than that. Like I don't have one half plotted on the graph very well. So I just know it goes towards the asymptotes. If I wanted precision, you would use like a, a graphing tool, let a computer do it. Like if you're designing some shit and you might ask, why would we ever have some graphs with a fucking curve in it? And I look at the St. Saint, Saint Louis gateway arch. We will actually cover later on in the class, the function that 
models, the gateway arch. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? That fucking big old, like, I forgot many of you are youngsters and may not be international or national. The gateway arch. It's in St. Louis, yeah. You can take an elevator up to the top. The fucking town is miserable. <laughs> fucking went there and sorry, it's a fucking concrete jungle and fucking high, high fucking humidity. So you just have all the heat bouncing off fucking concrete walls, the streets, and then you have the humidity compounding it. Fucking like miserable as fuck it's done. That is not nice. Might be great in winter, I don't know. We'll be covering that function later on. All right, so let's kick it up a notch. Fuck this one Rx. One Rx is for uh, the children you put and you put on the lifeboat early. We're going down with the goddamn ship. Let's look at like one over x squared. Now, when we square something, it doesn't matter what we put in, the answer comes out positive. So I could put in like plus or minus three, plus or minus two, plus or minus one, each of these, I get one over that number squared. This is one ninth, one fourth, and one. And then if you stick in the fractions, you end up with the reciprocal square, which is the big numbers. But we have no negative values. But we have just some major fucking epiphany right now. Yep. Excellent. Epiphanies are great. Now, this is not done to scale because my y-axis is shorter than my x-axis. I guess I could fucking make it to scale. Three is all the way down to one ninth, really fucking low. One half is one fourth, or one half is four, way up here. One third is nine, way up here. Still does the asymptote stuff. But now it's that way on both sides. So we still have the same asymptotes. X equals H, Y equals K. In this base scenario, those are both zero.
A does the same thing. A less than zero flips it over. We're going downward. So the vertical asymptote is, I said X equals H, which it is, but in general here, the vertical asymptotes are where denominators would be zero. So it's going to happen with anything, any power on bottom. If you have x minus h to the nth power, you do x minus h to the nth power equals zero. Then you take the nth root of both sides. So you get x minus h equals zero. You solve for x, and you get x equals h. Asymptote. And this is a vertical asymptote. Maybe we'll take a five minute break since Jenny had to go to the bathroom. And now there's three people left on four. It is getting close to that break time, so we might as well do it now. All right. Uh, so if anybody else is interested, I will be at the Starbucks here in Tulare on J and Cross. Friday from 10 to 12. That way Hannah's not stuck with her creepy ass professor all by herself. I only meet students in public places. There's a story behind that, but I will not say that on camera because I got in trouble last time just for even telling this story. I think you told us the story. Did I tell you guys the story? I probably did. I, I don't give a fuck about getting in trouble. <laughs> I cussed in front of my dean. No big book. All right. So those were the vertical asymptotes. Horizontal asymptotes and other asymptotes are come as this. Will you switch off your off your yeah. map? What app? You, I can still see your just your maps. Oh, it's a map. Thank you. Horizontal and other asymptotes. So we have the whole f of x equals g of x over h of x. If g of x's degree is less than h of x's degree, we have a horizontal asymptote. at y equals k. For most problems, this is zero. For a lot of problems, this is zero. Oh, my bad. No, that is exactly y equals zero. 
This is y equals zero, period. So y equals k asymptote is when g of x has the same degree as h of x. Now, that's assuming there's a plus K like that. If there is no plus K, well, no, get, just get rid of the Y equals K. That's the whole, the other form of assuming. Uh, so we'll have something like this. A of X equals A X to the N plus blah, 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 plus A zero. <laughs> over b x to the n plus blah, 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 plus a zero. That's what I mean by the same degree. They're both n degree. n is the, the degree is the largest exponent. So both are nth degree. Your horizontal asymptote will be at y equals a over b. So this would be like ax to the n and bx to the n plus one. The bottom has bigger than on, bottom has bottom has a bigger exponent than the top. What are you laughing at? Your speech. Am I here? Am I a fucking clown? Am I here to amuse you? I make you fucking laugh. Yeah. Then when we have f of x equals a to the a x to the n plus one plus some crap, and the bottom is b x to the n, so the top is one degree higher. This is called a slanted or oblique. Asymptote. And to find out what it is, Divide the numerator by the denominator and discard the remainder. Off the remainder. This blue pin, pin is getting retired. I think I just got tricked into going to Starbucks on Friday and I'm not gonna get a fucking cookie. I think <laughs> I got duped, didn't I? Yeah. Fucking got duped. It's a fucking dirty trick. So 
So let's look at finding asymptotes of some shitty rational functions. You guys ready? Yeah, you can finish writing if you'd like. Let's wait. Do you need longer? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's take a look at f of x equals oh, not x squared. Getting, getting ahead of myself here. All right, let me just quit. What does that bottom factor into? It's, it's five, it's Good. Undue pressure on Luis, because he wants to be a math major. I can factor shit on the spot. What? Well, after you fucking treated me like I was Kirby, <laughs> now you're on the fucking list, bro. You're on the list. The fucking, you're on the throw me into the bus fucking list is where you're at. All right, so vertical asymptote, VA. Vertical is vertical asymptote. This red pin's going by the wayside shortly. Where the denominator equals zero. <clears throat> And I did that by solving x minus five equals zero and x plus one equals zero. Do you have any other asymptotes? The degree of the numerator is one larger than the degree on the top. I mean, the degree of the numerator is one lower than the one on the bottom. The bottom has a bigger denominator, or bigger, fuck, just can't get this out right. The bottom has a bigger degree. So we have an x to the first over x squared. This is going to have y equals zero. as a horizontal asymptote, as a ha. Mm -hmm. Just make it so I don't, you're not driving into the fucking sun when you're going. Just finding our asymptotes right now. So vertical asymptote is where the bottom equals zero.
horizontal asymptote. They have the same degree, x to the first over x to the first. So we're going to grab those, and we will have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 4 over 2. Or y equals 2. Because I will mark your ass down if you leave 4 over 2. So if they're not the same degree, it's just y equals 0? If the bottom is a bigger degree. We're going to do that in a second. <clears throat> F back equals Uh, x squared plus 3x over x minus 1. So we have vertical asymptote at x equals one by setting the bottom equal to zero. And here we have the leading degree is one higher on top. This is going to be an oblique asymptote. So we can do some sky division here, synthetic division, figure out what it is. So x plus four, and that's the remainder that we're going to ignore. So the oblique asymptote is at y equals x plus 4. You make the x plus 4 equal to 0? It's just x plus 4. Yeah, let's just x equal x plus 4. In fact, let me show you this on Desmos. If you like it. <clears throat> I'm gonna get it plugged in that way. Jose, Jose still has time to. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm done. No more. Oh really? Yeah, I'm done. Gotten faster and faster. Yeah. Like a yeah. fucking machine over here. <laughs> So if I put in our vertical asymptote, why did this zoom out too? Normally that doesn't zoom out. Make that dotted. We can see our x equals one. See how it's going off at a slant? When I drop in y equals x plus 4, as it goes to infinity, the red line's approaching our y equals x plus 4 line. That's why it's called a slanted asymptote. I don't know where a bleak came from, but you can clearly see it's at a slant. And it does the same go in the other direction. We have a judgment. What? Do they ever touch? No. 
Asa, you never cross an asymptote. Uh, well, okay. So horizontal and oblique asymptotes. Cannot be crossed as. Did I really grab the fucking shitty blue pin again? Jesus Christ. As x goes to positive infinity or x goes to negative infinity. But near zero or near the vertical asymptotes, I should say. They can be crossed. They don't always get crossed, but they can be crossed. In this example I just gave you, it didn't, they didn't cross. So we had uh, the first one we did was y equals x minus five over x squared minus four x minus five. And we had a VA at x equals five and negative one. We had a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. I'm going to use, I'm going to make my x-axis red right now because it is an asymptote, y equals zero. Okay, so this factored into x minus five over x minus five times x plus one. So we still have x cannot equal five, x cannot equal negative one. But if I cancel shit out, this just looks like y equals one over x plus one. I think I misled you guys on this one. I want to see what it looks like real quick. I think that's a removable discontinuity. In fact, I know it's a removable discontinuity. It's not what I wanted to do on this problem. So, I was actually wrong here. The vertical asymptote is not x equals five because we were able to remove, removed it. 
when we have a, a, a discontinu discontinuity that gets removed, X minus five is called, in this case, a removable discontinuity. And it just makes a hole in the graph. It's a hole in the graph, hole in the line, like the curve. I'm come back here and point that out up here. So we have x equals negative one. Is it still a, it didn't go away. It's still an asymptote. If I want to find my x-intercept or my y-intercept, since I can't have an x-intercept, yes, I can. That can be zero. Yeah, y-intercept is where x equals zero. So that is at negative 5 over negative 5, which is 1. Zero, one is your y intercept. And there is no x intercept. None for y equals one over x plus one. So this does this. It's in the shape of one over x. Even though we removed it, oh my bad, I didn't show the x equal the discontinuity. At x equals five, we have a hole. There should be a hole there. And the fuck thing is, graphing shit won't show it to you. Check this out, I'm graphing it on Desmos. So we have the graph, x equals five is a hole. And it doesn't matter how close I get to it, it doesn't look like there's a hole there. But if you put your cursor on it and drag it to there, when you get to x equals five, it says undefined. So graphing calculators can't show you the whole. They don't show them very well. I'm going to do another, another one with you before we get on track with the other ones we had. See some folks still running. I will slow my shit down. Everyone looks like they're on their phone now. Let's take a look at f of x equals x minus 2 over x squared minus x minus 6. I'm 
No, you were waving to somebody else. Oh, thanks. I got a wing. <laughs> Our life bucket special. All right, so if we set the bottom equal to zero, we can find our asymptotes. This is x minus three and x plus two. So x equals three or x equals negative two. Those are my vertical asymptotes. The horizontal asymptote or the, the other asymptote category, the denominator is bigger than the top, so y equals zero. That's my x-axis. My y-axis. Let's look for our intercepts. Our y-intercept is when x equals zero. f of zero is negative two over negative six, which is one third. So we got a point at zero, one third. Let me put my horizontal, my vertical aspects down. And we just said zero, one third, which means I need a scale along the y axis. Not very high up. The x intercept is when y equals zero. And the only way this equals zero is when the numerator equals zero. So x minus two equals zero, x equals two. Two comma zero. So these go like that. It goes down like that. This goes up like this. It's got to go towards the asymptote and it can't cross the vertical asymptotes. The vertical asymptote over here goes like that. And this one over here is like that. Uh, notice we cross the horizontal asymptote. So these only act as asymptotes as x goes to infinity, plus or minus infinity. All right, what other ones do we have here? We had, let's do another one on a generation of leak. 
Since I already showed it to you in Desmos, I don't want to do that one. Go over here, Bob. Playing on the phone, not taking notes. <laughs> this is why you got an 88, not a fucking 98. Such a disappointment. Really? It's passing grade. Really? Should it's never right. say that about a class in your major. Oh, no. So, Xavier. What? Maybe it's a bit. Can you hear me? I can hear you saying something. Are you proud of me? Yes, I am proud of you. You did much better than uh, Luis. <laughs> you did too. He fucking crushed your ass. <laughs> I deserve a candy? You do, you do deserve a candy, but I don't hand out candy to children or okay. students. <laughs> You can't steal something. I can't say children because you're not a child. Post yeah, I'm going to bring candy on the final day. Where you're going to be all sugared up. Then you can blame it on the sugar. All right. Next one. I can't do alcohol. I like how you're thinking, though. I like the choice. Uh, Um, that's what we're going to draft. Yeah. We're going to draft this bad boy. So what's the top factor into, Luis? Good. So nothing cancels out here. There's no removable discontinuity. So where are my vertical asymptotes? What? Is that three? X equals negative one? So at the bottom equals zero, so X plus one equals zero. As Louis said, X equals negative one. Three is going to be one of our intercepts. No, I'll ask, is there three because those those top and bottom but it's like six. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> you fucking blow my head up here, dude. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what we got going on here, but the degree on top is one degree higher than the bottom. So this should generate an oblique asymptote. And we need to do our synthetic division. See what that line is. So y equals x minus six is our oblique asymptote. <laughs> we have intercepts. Uh, the y-intercept is when x equals 0. f of 0 is 6 over 1, which is 6. So 0, 6. Our x-intercepts are y equals 0, and this is where the top equals 0. So x minus 3 times x minus 2 equals 0. x equals 3 or x equals 2. So two zero and three zero. And we're in a position to sketch. Just think if your doctor had gotten eighty eight percent on his shit. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that's like missing one out of six fucking problems. Which means he's fucking hurting one out of six of his fucking patients. 
Don't settle for a fucking B in your major, man. Shame. Whoever taught you that, it's a saying. C's get degrees is a fucking saying. Don't ever apply it to anything in your major. You can say, yeah, art history, but settle for a C. I would still shoot for the A because you get the scholarships if you get all A. It's easier to get scholarships with than you have all A's. Did a lot of people get an A? I did not see the but look at the breakdown. There were A's. There was a couple people with extra credit over 100%. All right, let's take a look at Grammys, bad boy. Uh, I need to go up to six. Fuck. <clears throat> so I have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative one. And y equals x minus 6, which crosses at negative 6 there and over here. I did not draw this very well. We're scrapping that. I need more of the... Uh, Jesus, I need a lot. I need to make this really big. These are all six apart. And we had intercepts at two zero and three zero and zero six. And that's the only information we have. We know how these got to connect somehow like that. Looks like it's going to dip down and just barely go under the x-axis there. And as it goes this way, it has to approach the asymptote. As this one goes that way, it's got to approach that asymptote. And we didn't have a square in there so on the bottom. So the other one should be downward like this somewhere. I don't know exactly where like these this is. I didn't plot show that very well, but I know that's gonna go down there. And this looks like shit. That should look a little bit more curvy. Should be curvy. Curvy, not curvy. Yeah, curvy or curvy. I guess curvy is curvy. You're just trying to get him in more, in more trouble, aren't you? See what you're doing. He's trying to throw you under the bus because he didn't call me Kirby. He's just reminding me that you fucking basically called me Kirby. He didn't actually call me Kirby. No, that was all you the whole way. No. <laughs> you fucking put those words in his mouth. He just said I fucking wolfed it down or some shit. And I said it held it and you immediately went to Kirby. <laughs> that was all you, dog. <laughs> You fucking trying to throw Luis under the bus. That's what Kirby does in hell stuff. I know, but he didn't use the word in hell. You said he did. 
I I put a word that word in his mouth, oh, well, and you know. fucking basically called me Kirby. Oh, well, Except Luis. Well, no, he well <laughs> he did say I wolfed it down, or whatever he said. It was pretty close to him. He began the conversation. He did. Yeah. So he's, he's just fucking guilty all over. Yeah. That's how these rational functions work. These rational functions, rational, blah, blah, blah. rational functions work. I say we call the wrap right there. And we'll start chapter four on Wednesday. I will have your test back for you on Wednesday. I got the final makeup in today. I got to grade it. I will have them for you on Wednesday. So you can take them home with you. You can put them on your fridge with a maggot. Show your parents that how proud you are. Oh, and that gets fuck out. What are you all sitting around for? I said that was it. <laughs> Later, after. See you Wednesday. See you guys on Wednesday.